I got a few comments about these arms on my last few videos, so I wanted to do a dedicated video to compare them now that I have them both. Before we get into it, please hit that like button. Each like brings Christian closer to his dream of being my full-time house husband. All right, let's get right to it. I purchased the Amazon Basics arm in January of 2021 and the Ergotron arm in October of 2021. So I've had both of them for a significant amount of time to compare them. I'm gonna make this simple and save you time and possibly money. They're both great, nearly identical. The only reason I got an Ergotron arm and not another Amazon Basics arm is because the Amazon Basics one was sold out for a long period of time and I needed another arm. Unboxing, they're essentially the same product. I've heard they're manufactured in the same way with the only visible differences being the branding and that the Ergotron seems to have slightly nicer materials, but the actual construction and assembly exactly the same. Very simple, if not for some tension adjustments or frustrations if you receive a really tight product on arrival, which is a common complaint. Nothing some WD-40, YouTube, and strong muscles can't fix. I will say my Amazon arm is easier to move, but that may be because my Wacom is heavier than the other monitor that's on my Ergotron. Even though that monitor appears to be larger, I think the Wacom may be a little girthier. Add to the fact that I move around the Wacom more often to draw, so I may have just loosened up things a little bit more just from heavier use on that arm. A common question I get on both videos is whether or not pressure from drawing on it makes the arm sag. It does not. There are tension adjustments on the back of both of them. Both of them are fully adjustable to where you can be sitting there with full pressure of your arm on the tablet and it's not going anywhere. As long as you have the tension adjusted properly, they're totally fine. That's really it, y'all. In my opinion, if one is cheaper or on sale compared to the other one, then get the cheaper one. Y'all have different experiences than me with either of these products? Let me in the community know in the comments down below. If you have any questions of things I did not cover in this video, you can reference the videos that I've made in the past on this arm, or just let me know in the comments down below and I will respond as soon as I can. If you decide to purchase either of these arms and my videos helped you at all, please consider using my affiliate link below. It doesn't cost you anything different if you're still going to buy it from Amazon and it just gives me a little kickback and helps me make more videos. Thanks for watching at the end. I always appreciate y'all's support. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button. If you're new here, hit that subscribe. I post new videos every week. If you haven't already, check out our video from last week where Christian entered Japan. He spent his first week training in Tokyo. I'll see y'all next week. Donnie!